So one of my goals for this year was to get further into the more technical details of Linux and open source software. And by that, I mean do things that surrounded like the home lab and hosting your own next cloud server and all of the stuff that goes around, you know, containers and things like this, things that I've never really gotten into before. So today I decided to kind of hop into that stuff feet first. And what I realized was I'm a noob. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that I always proclaim myself to be the eternal Linux noob, but man, did today really show it. So I don't, over the last couple days, I've tried to do many things that I haven't done before. One of them was install Jellyfin. I tried the regular way, and then Josh pointed me towards Podman, which I've never used before. That was an entertaining experience. Still haven't got that figured out. I'm still learning. Uh, today I decided I was going to install Nextcloud because I've wanted to try that for a while. So I set up a VM. I got Nextcloud installed on Ubuntu and man, is that just downright stupid simple. Like snap install Nextcloud and it works. I mean, there's nothing else to it. It's fantastic. It's literally the only reason why you should ever use snaps in my opinion. <laughs> it was really easy. And honestly, it just, it was just, it was fantastic. It, you know, I went into another computer hopped onto the IP address and set up my account and bam, Nextcloud was working. I mean, I didn't even have to start a system D service. Like I, like even Plex makes you start a system D service. Nextcloud apparently does it automatically, or at least the snap does. That is, it was fantastic. And you know, maybe I didn't even learn anything from it because it was so simple, but it was, it was really good. Uh, and then I spent the rest of the day struggling with DNS, which I haven't had to do in years. Like even like I host the linuxcast.org, which is the website. And uh, even with that, I didn't have to do very much because, you know, someone else set it up for me and, you know, I messed with the DNS, but it was just really simple. So today I've been messing around with DNS to actually point towards a local VM and with a non-static IP address was not working, obviously, because you need a static IP address. And then you had to, I had to remember from like 10, 15 years ago, how to set a static IP address. And it turns out that GNOME has a UI for doing it, which I didn't even remember that that, had, you know, was a thing. So it just, it was an experience all throughout the day, learning new things that, I, or at least remembering new, some new things that I just haven't even ever done before or haven't done in a long time. And it just made me remember why I like Linux and open source so much. And I've kind of gotten away from it, to be honest with you. Like when I first started this channel, one of the things that I talked about most about why I liked Linux was because I learned so much, right? There, when I first started, there, uh, there wasn't a day that went by where I didn't learn something new about my computer or about the way Linux worked or whatever. Like I was always trying new things. And some of that was because I was just hopping so damn much because I was, I did it a lot, but I was still learning about, you know, new pieces of software constantly. And I kind of fell away from that as I stopped distro hopping as much, as I stopped moving between desktop environments and window managers as much. And I just got so comfortable with the workflow that I had that I stopped learning about new things. And today, and I guess yesterday too, doing these new things, you know, you know, learning a little bit about Podman, trying to get Jellyfin set up, setting up Nextcloud, setting up everything that goes around, you know, trying to get a, Lex, a, a SSL certificate, you know, all this stuff that I've either never done before or haven't done in a long time, just served to remind me why I need to continue trying new things, trying to broaden my horizons and learn new things constantly because not only does it obviously make you, you know, better, but also it's downright fun. Like I, there were certain points today when I was messing with DNS that I, you know, was frustrated, but there, I don't regret any of the time that I spent today doing any of this stuff because I've learned so much that I didn't know yesterday. So the reason why I wanted to make this video beyond just kind of tooting my own horn, hey, look, I learned some new stuff, uh, but it is mostly because I wanted to say, don't get too comfortable in your daily workflow. And, and that sounded ominous, but what I really mean by that is just that if you stop trying new things, you lose something. There, There is something lost there, and it is important to try new things and learn new things, and there is so much more than just the Linux desktop out there. 
And by always trying new things and learning new things, you make your, you you just, you have a better experience overall, I think. Even though, yes, you're going to hit roadblocks and stuff and find things that you can't do or you can't get your head around or whatever. That's, that's part of the process, but you really do learn so much more and it's just a fun process if you're anything like me. So a rambly type video and not a very long one, but I just wanted to say I'm a noob and I'm proud of it. But in order to be a noob, you kind of have to try new things. And I think that that is just so very important. So that's it for this video. If you have thoughts on any of this stuff, you can leave it in the comment section below. Uh, go over on Mastodon and give me a follow if you guys are on Mastodon. I've, I kind of tooted my way through my process of doing a whole bunch of new things today. And I'm always asking questions and answering questions over there. So it's been a very uh, interesting process. And most of my uh, journey has been documented over on Mastodon. So uh, links to Mastodon and Odyssey will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. Links for LiberaPay and YouTube will be in the video description as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the challenge would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very very much for your support i truly do appreciate it and i did have to condense the role of names that is going on here so i'm still <laughs> i'm not quite sure what i feel about the three column thing there at the end i'm still working on that so that may change a little bit over the the next few days as i try to make that a little bit better but anyways thanks everybody for your support i'll see you next time